this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing a card with you. It is this card using the Brusho Crystals. This is just one technique in using these crystals. I've seen so many different ways to use it but I wanted to share this technique. This is using watercolor paper and on the next one I'm going to use shimmery white to show you the difference in using the Brusho on different um, papers. So this is what I'm sharing today and I love how it came out. I love these crystals. They're so much fun. Now these are the crystals that we have. It comes in Brilliant Red, Gamboji, which is like a orange. This one's Perusian Blue. This one's Moss Green and Yellow. We have um, just these four. Now the reason I have these stick pins in there is this is how we're going to dispense the color um, crystals. So you're gonna, we're just going to take this off. You don't want to open the top because these crystals are so fine that they will get all over everything and make a big mess. So this is the easiest way and this was a recommended way to use these crystals. And a little bit at a time comes out but you can see you don't need much. These are going to last a good long time. So I'm going to use the Persian Blue and the Moss Green like I did on this one here. For this card, I'm going to grab a piece of my, to cover my surface because it does get a little bit messy. So I'm going to use just this little silicone mat that I have. and uh, Or it's not really silicone, it's just a um, kind of a water resistant mat. And I just got this at my local craft store a long time ago, I've had it forever. But for this card, you're going to need a piece that is um, five and a half by four and a quarter, a basic card. You're also going to need a piece, and this is our shimmery white. I use the, like I said, the watercolor paper on the other one. And this piece is five by three and three quarters. So whichever paper you decide to use. You're going to need another piece. This is our Petal Passion. And this is that black and white paper I showed in my haul. This is five and a half by two. And then you're going to just need another piece, which is going to end up being like four by one half, but it's going to be for the sentiment, and it's a half inch wide. But I thought I'd leave it long, so in case I mess up, I have another area, and I can just cut it to where I need it. All right, so that's what you'll need for this. So let's get our... Oh, and the stamp set. The stamp set is this beautiful day, so it has the rose and the butterfly and these little flowers right here, and the two sentiments. I love this for this. It's a perfect for this technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my embossing buddy, and we are going to just go over it, So, because we are going to emboss this in our white emboss. And I'm going to take my stamp and some Versamark. I'm going to move this butterfly up a little bit because the other one was a little bit too low. I wanted to make my sentiment a little bit wider, but I ended up having to make it a half. But that's okay. It worked out just fine. So we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to move him up just a little bit. And stamp that. It's a pretty good size, so I'm going to hold it there just for a minute. And then get my white emboss out here. I just got some new. I needed some new. I was just about out. So we're going to And then we're going to also go ahead and let's just emboss both of them at the same time. The um, sentiment also. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for a minute until we stamp the other one on the basic black. So again, I'm going to use my embossing buddy. And this is narrow. Usually I just stamp it and then I'll... Um, cut it. So that's why I left it a little bit longer because I want to make sure 
that I get it even on here. I can't really get my head over it, so hopefully I'm in the center. Let's see where we're at with that. I think I could do, it's a little bit high, so let me go ahead and turn it and do it on the other side. That's why I left it a little bit big, long. I may have to stand up just a minute to get this over the top. It's too hard to do it when I'm sitting flat. And I hope I don't get my head in here. Yeah, I think that one's good. Okay, let's get our white emboss here. That's why I usually stamp it and then cut. All right, so we're ready to emboss both of those. Let me set this aside and then get the embossing gun out and we'll emboss them both at the same time. Okay, so you may not be able to see it, but I think you can right there. Um, but it is all embossed now, ready to go. And you do have to be a little patient with the drying time. I may bring out the, the um, heat tool again to quickly dry it. That's what I did with the other one because I'm so impatient when it comes to that. All right, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to really spritz this paper up. So you want it pretty good. So you can see it's going to roll a little bit. It's okay. We're going to open this up and I'm going to start just sprinkling this brush -o over the wings. The um, watercolor paper doesn't roll as much as this one does. Okay, and then I'm going to get the moss green out. And just, you don't have to even be picky with this. I just want it to be a little bit on the wings. Ooh, got something on there. And also have a little paper towel ready. to kind of blot this. I may need to add a little bit more blue, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go ahead and spritz it one more with our mini mister. And you can see how it's reacting to it. Super pretty. Yeah, the other one is going to be, that's what the results are different with every one. I'm just going to tap and blot this. But look how pretty. I love the effect that this gives this. It is gorgeous. Like I said, it's a little bit messy, but this is oh so fun. You can even go back if you want to add, like if I want to add a little bit more blue to like this wing right here, I could just tap a little bit more. And you can see only a little bit is coming out. And then I'll go ahead and spritz it again just to deepen that there and then just tap and then you have to set it aside and let it dry but I'm super impatient when it comes to doing that you can the best thing I think that to do is just to set a book on it and let it dry and it will dry flat but I'm gonna go ahead and get my heat tool out and we're going to go ahead and speed up the drying process. Okay, so it is pretty dry, almost fully dry right now. And so you can do that if you want. You can just speed up the process a bit. And um, I think that the only difference in the watercolor and the 
Um, shimmery white is the texture and the color seems a little bit bolder on here but I don't know if it's because I maybe I put a little bit more crystals on this one but it's super fun so I'm going to grab our base right here we're going to add our piece of black and white our petal passion the other day I was half struggling with my fast fuse and it was like right at the end and I think this one's just about there too because I just see the end but we're going to just put this right at the top and then I'm going to just add this one and I may yeah I'm going to have to use my see if I have another one full up here I have a bunch um, but I think they're all empty. I have refills though. Yeah, see this one's empty. <laughs> I just emptied another one. All right, we're gonna use we're gonna use um, snail for this. But <clears throat> the snail is not a good idea. You can use tear and tape or whatever because the snail this is thicker and I don't think it's gonna hold as well. I'm gonna put a lot on here. I don't think it's gonna hold as well as the fast fuse. I don't like it to buckle or come up. So we are going to center this one now. Do you want that black showing? Uh, this this shimmery white it might hold better. I think that the the um, watercolor paper might not have done so well. But the shimmery white seems okay. All right, so now I am going to put this on here. I'm going to cut it a little bit because I want to put a little tail on here. I want to flag the end there. I'm going to grab some snail again. Oh, that works much better when you put it up higher. I like it better. And then I'm going to use some of our new sequins. These are those self-adhesive sequins. And we're going to put a few of those on here. I'm going to use these right here. Always use an odd number. And that is it. Is that not fun? I love this brush. Oh, it's so much fun to play with. And there's so much you can do with it. But this is just one technique. And this is embossing. I, I'm probably going to be showing you more of this. It's so fun because it's got that watercolor look. And you get different um, looks each time. I definitely like this one better. Because I had to put this one down a little bit further. And I definitely love that this one shows some of the bottom here. So if you're going to stamp it, stamp your butterfly closer to the top. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop right from my blog. I hope you all have a blessed day. All this is from the new um, occasions catalog. I want to say holiday. It went so fast, it's unbelievable. But the new occasions catalog, and don't forget, celebration is going on right now. For every $50 you spend, you get a free product from the celebrations catalog. So I hope you enjoyed it, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you later. Bye.